Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Zometica. Looks like they're having a, a decent day today. Uh, looks like over the uh, last month they've went up uh, 16%. Uh, Could have got a nice dip here at uh, 70 cents. Um, this one kind of fell off my radar for a little while, but um, it's getting back on the radar, so. Uh, could have got a 80 cent dip here back on uh, June 1st, uh, so just a couple days ago. Uh, so it's had a great run uh, just since then. Looks like it ran up to a dollar six, came down 94 uh, up to a dollar four, and we'll see if it can hit a dollar four or a dollar six again here. See what's uh, going on with it, but uh, not too bad of a day. 95 could have got a 91 cent dip on up to 99 trying to break the uh, dollar barrier so we'll see what happens with this one uh, like I said I've talked about this one uh, numerous times uh, ticker is ZOM still have my 60 shares here I'm a little bit behind um, should have bought one of those dips and uh, tried to get my uh, Average down to a dollar uh, would have been nice, uh, but uh, like I said, I hadn't been watching this one for a while. Um, I watch a stock and then it just doesn't perform, and then it seems like I lose uh, interest in it and uh, just kind of throw it on the back burner for a while and focus on some other ones. And um, but anyway, if you don't know uh, what uh, Zometic is, uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over this one. It's a, a veterinary health company uh, that commercializes of. Uh, commercialization of pharmaceuticals for companion pets. The uh, main catalyst here is the uh, True Forma. So we're trying to see if we can uh, get that and uh, get the stock uh, boosted back up. So uh, it's been around since uh, 2013. Uh, kind of small volume I would call it. A 46 million and a 792 million dollar market cap. Earnings are uh, expected August 11th after hours. And here's the, um, the last buy that I tried buying some. Uh, wow, February, trying to buy in at uh, two dollars, <laughs> and so you can see the difference. Uh, just a little bit less than a month, it almost uh, doubled and almost two and a half times the uh, price. Um, it looks like it was buying in, and uh, have to go back and look and see what it ran up to. But uh, here's uh, 97 cents at the end of January. So, but I haven't bought any of this one for a while. So, uh, like I said, kind of a uh, lost interest in it for a while. Is hard and heavy into it for a while and watching it. And uh, here's another look at uh, bar chart. Uh, so the uh, day's low. Uh, Point nine one one zero and the uh, high of a dollar one. Previous close of point nine zero nine four. Uh, volume of forty seven million. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Uh, shares outstanding uh, nine hundred and forty seven thousand. So Medica Corp is currently minus point eight one below its two hundred. Period uh, moving average. Uh, what does this mean? And this is dated on the uh, first. You can see here. So on the uh, last trading day, uh, reaching uh, 84 cents per share at the time. The uh, company report on May 18, 2021. That Boundary Gold begins investigation into Lowell Schmidt, known nominee for past director and BCSC investigation subject uh, David Schmidt. And so might have something to do with the uh, stock price on it here so the uh, company believes a former investment uh, advisor is a known nominee of uh, David Schmidt who is holding multiple positions on his behalf and trading on his recommendations the company has reason to believe David has been directing Lowell on multiple occasions on specific fundamental events that were material to the company so Medica Corp represents 972 million in outstanding shares, while the company has a total market value of 825 million, with the latest information. Uh, Zum stock price has been found in the range of 82 cents to 88 cents if compared 
to the average volume uh, trade, uh, 63.93 million shares. Zom reached a trading volume of that amount there in the uh, most recent trading day, uh, which is why market watchdogs consider the stock to be active. And I'll slowly scroll through here if you'd like to uh, read the rest of the information. Again, you can find it there on dbtnews.com. So this kind of goes over the uh, trading performance analysis. Uh, gaining into the trend and gaining by 2.44 with the latest uh, performance. Zom shares dropped by 17.65% and over the last four week period, additionally plunging uh, by 569% over the last six months, not to mention a rise of 432% in the past year of trading. <coughs> Excuse me, so this one, <coughs> like I said, has been uh, really volatile, and uh, if you're getting into this one, uh, just prepare yourself, put your seatbelt on, because uh, never know which way this one's going to go. But, um, here it kind of goes over the RSI, the uh, 50 days of trading. And earnings per share analysis. Um, kind of already touched about some of that. Uh, when compared to the two values, demonstrate that the uh, company fell the estimate by a surprise factor of minus 50%. Progress of the company may be observed through the prism of EPS growth rate, while Wall Street analysts are focusing on predicting the five-year EPS growth rate for ZUM. Uh, there are presently around $86 million, or 12.20% of ZUM stock in the hands of institutional investors. Top three institutional holders of ZUM stocks are Vanguard, uh, with that amount in ownership and which is approximately 110 percent of the company's market cap around uh, 0 0.30 percent of the total institution ownership blackrock holding 17 million shares of the uh, stock with an approximate value of 14.42 million and cambridge investment research currently with a 10.2 million in zom stock with ownership of nearly 0.002% of the company's market capitalization. So I've been holding this one. Um, I'll continue holding it until I see something happen with it. But um, I thought this was an interesting article. This was just out on the uh, 5th, so two days ago. Better Robin Hood uh, penny stock, uh, Sundial Growers versus Medica. It's funny, I just did a uh, video. Uh, an hour or two ago on uh, Sundial. Uh, Robinhood investors like penny stocks um, of the top 100 most popular stocks on the trading platform. 13 currently trade at less than $5 per share, meeting the definition of a penny stock. Some of those inexpensive stocks have been huge winners so far. Uh, Sundial uh, which has soared 180%, Zometica, which has soared 280%, uh, but which of these high-flying Robinhood uh, penny stocks is the uh, better pick now? And um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, let's move on. And So this says Sundial net revenue continued to decline. I uh, kind of already know that. I went over that in my uh, video from previously company achieved something in the first quarter that uh, several major uh, Canadian MJ growers have uh, yet to do. It generated positive adjusted earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and uh, amortization or EBITDA. Sundell's cost uh, reduction initiative seemed to be paying off, uh, but the stock still is a slow mover. Uh, Sundell is also uh, racked up uh, successes with investment activities in Q1, uh, which I've already went over on uh, some of my other videos. The company is also expanding through acquisitions, uh, which I've covered. In May, it announced plans to acquire uh, Canadian MJ retailer Inner Spirit. And so I've covered all of that. 
case for Zometica remains unprofitable as well. Uh, however, that's expected uh, considering the company only recently launched its first product. The uh, good news for Zometica is that the product Trueforma could be a big uh, commercial success over the long run. Uh, Trueforma is a shoebox sized device used to uh, run point of care diagnostics tests on uh, cats and dogs in the uh, veterinary clinics. Zometica currently up or supports a handful of essays for the Trueforma platform including one that helps veterinaries diagnose adrenal disease in dogs. The company is developing more essays. Um, Zometica made only a little over 14,000 in sales in the first quarter. However, Trueforma is still a fairly new device on the market. And so if we can get that out in the market, getting it to being used, uh, we'll see what uh, happens with the stock price. I think that both uh, Sundial Growers and Zometica could enjoy improving fortunes over the uh, next few years. If I had to pick one of these uh, penny stocks, although I would um, go with Zometica. Huh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, my primary reason is that Zometica is less likely to dilute its shareholders in the near term by issuing new stock uh, than Sundial is. The company reported a cash stockpile. 276 million on March 31st and booked a net loss of 4 million in the first quarter. Sundial had a cash position of 1 billion on May 1st, but it posted a net loss of 134.4 million in Q1. Uh, so you can see the difference there 276 with a loss of 4, and Sundial has a billion and 134 million net loss quite a difference. Zometica Corp uh, stopped trading around 91 cents per share. What's next? And so again this is kind of some of the uh, same information uh, about the investigation. See if there's any other information in here. I'll just slowly scroll through for those of you that would uh, like to read the information. Uh, so this goes over uh, what do top market gurus say about uh, Zometica. Kind of goes over some rating. One to five, five would mean a strong sell, four represents, two indicates a buy. And moving on, over here to uh, Reddit. Goal for six, eighteen, twenty-one. Doesn't really say what the goal is. Huge some news. So I'm just turn to shine. Discussion. Incoming AMC profit taker pump. And not really anything else in there. So could have got into this at a low of six cents, currently at 97, and a high of 291. 48 million shares. It's our new side hustle, okay, MC apes. <laughs> Break one and stay above one. Higher lows. I'm happy with that. Not really any other information in here that we've already went over, and nothing here on a tip ranks. But if you have Zometica, go ahead and leave that in the uh, comments. And if you have any further information in regards to uh, Zometica, go ahead and leave that as well. And um, we'll try to find out uh, what it's going to do here in the uh, near future. So uh, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. That would really help out the channel. And if you um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.